what is what? And we don't know what. What the truck? <laughs> Welcome to Basement, my dwellers, as we get into this series. Mirage, the first pick, and it's the pick of Nip. They start things off on the T side. Threat, throwing grenades. I'm sure he's got a lot of smoke Respect. lineups in his pocket. I'm going to keep my eye on this guy as we go into this pistol. That's going to be the top con smoke for Threat, and NIP bursting out ramp rain in the spawn. kirby has got the kit on B. Triple stack for phase. It's going to be a long rotation, but they're playing retake anyway. Yeah, bomb going down. I just want to keep up with Threat. I want to see what he's doing here. He's supporting Twist over here towards the jungle. Brokey is in position. The rest of FaZe are grouped up with four in CT. And oh. that is awkward as all hell. Twist somehow going to deal with Brokey, but the rest of the kills have come in in the site. That's Threat and Plopsky both removed. Nico charging into the ramp, trying to deal with the guy here. Twist is still putting up numbers. Remember when Brokey almost killed him? Well, he's still doing Ooh. damage, and now he's left in the clutch. And finally, Nico will come in with okay. the big pistol yeah. that okay. was needed. We said he was the guy to keep an eye on in this series, wanting to go out on at least somewhat of a high, and he gets four to lock in the pistol. And it's like I always say, FaZe Clan are destined to win this matchup. We knew right from turning on our TV sets today, right from cranking up our computers, that FaZe Clan were going to go up 1-0 and potentially win this entire series on the back of this first and you know only pistol round that we've seen in the game so far. That's Stunner, S-T-U-N-N-A. That's Trey Stunner Sarantis. Yeah, make sure you don't words. follow me on Twitter at Stunner. Don't do that. But if you do, I would. Oh, my. The second round orb for Nico is like, Brokey, no. It's mine, and I want it, and I will take it. And this is my team. My art, and I need it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, just to, just to continue that topic just for a little bit as well, yeah, it's like... Why not? If... Well, firstly, the, the, the if is still there for Nico to yeah. G2, but boy, is that buyout going to be huge. Like, we know Ocelot's got a couple of dollars hidden under the mattress somewhere, but damn, dude, it's not going to be cheap. So this guy is still a sick individual, and I hope he shows up in the server today. He's already done so on the pistol round. Orp in CT. Looks like a B play for NIP. Flying through the sky, bombing the apartments, Three AKs. This is one hell of a buy for the second round, and there's no grenades on phase to stop this one. Flash is now going in. And it's cold and Kirby here to try and hold down the line. Now up through short side. That's where an IP look to move in. They have dealt with threat to open the round up, but Rez and Plopsky are in with a response. Now, Nico, with this second round or by, does open up and gives us a three on three back over. FaZe grouping up over here in the market. They've still got AKs to worry about on the other side. Nico, he's entered a bit of a scary form moving into this game. Oh. Hampus, quick deagle kill. Goes back in for more, and Nico is going to get the better of him. But now he's left in this clutch. A 1v3 turned one on two. As he's looking for Rez, he also spots the man at short. The attempt at the no scope doesn't work, though. And that's now the AWP given over to NIP. That is like, that is really worst case scenario yeah. for FaZe. You go for like the ballsy second round AWP buy. NIP force buy up themselves. They get out of that round with an AK, an AWP. They wouldn't have had an AWP for a, for a while yet, right? So they're, they're pretty pleased to get away with that. And now it's just the force buy back in for FaZe Clan. Yeah, we know what these guys can do with Deegs, but twist on the orb, worth noting, over Hampus. And, well, not for long. He's already gone. The Deeg from Rain in middle finds the opening kill. And do they retrieve it? Do they throw it out the map? Rez has taken it now. We know a lot of players on this team can orb for NIP, right? And at times, you've even seen Hampus over North and the likes in the past. Rain is not done, though. He's found a second over on A. Where's the orb gone? I think they might have thrown it out of the map temporarily. Through the smoke is threat. He tries to get cute with a gap, but Brokey catches him. And now this one's falling apart. The force by wars continuing for phase. Rain misses the timing, and Plopsky's out the smoke, catching Brokey. Does he know about Rain, though? Deep in CT. Rez has found a uh, killer B, but the bomb's been dropped. Swift stuff from Rain to find a third, and Rez now has to clutch it out. Oh. Well, oh. and it's like, you know, there's an old proverb. It's probably in Tennessee. It's probably in Texas. It says, if you're a dead team walking, you'll probably win a couple games. 
But if you're dead team talking, you probably won't win anything. Strong words from Stunner. Voted George W. Bush. W. What are you drinking over there, Hugo? It looks like some sort of watermelon. Ah, uh, it's it's strawberry and pineapple. It's delicious. We've got a little mini bar outside. Not a mini bar. No oh. alcohol. No alcohol. Alcohol no. fray. Free. Indeed. Fray, however the thing. <laughs> alcohol fray. <laughs> F-R-E-I fray. fray. That's a like very, very posh of you to say like that. Oh, well, I'm a pretty posh guy myself. Threats on the uh, the classic armor Glock. You know, everyone's favorite investment. He's wise with his money. Oh, the armor Glock. Yes, of <laughs> course. Yes. It's been some time since we've seen it in the wild. But here it is. I like it, though, man. Threat's the kind of coach yeah. who, like, has all the utility, like, down pat a, a trillion percent. He's also pretty good. Now, you know, don't know if he's, like, NIP standard or good in the server, but... Hey, man, you'll take someone throwing the nades and going in first and being given all the horrible roles that no one actually wants. Ooh. Uh, that's awkward. Oh. Plopsky ran by Cold Zera. And so that there's a little freebie. Cancels out Rez as well, and now it's down to the remaining three to tiptoe into this B site. Kirby with the shaky aim does get dropped, and Twist is in with another. And they've even given Threat the bomb as he puts in the numbers. He's looking to try and retrieve that gun over towards short. He smokes off the angle, so he is going to get the M4. Right, man, there's a lot of dudes on the other side of this. Yeah, he's backing away, and that's probably the, <laughs> the safe play to make. Oh, you just... It's scary, because it's like, it's Nico versus Threat, and I know who my money's on in that fight there. So he's fallen back, and he's trying to play around the rest of his team. Twist is going to deal with Brokian. Oh, well, sorry if you missed that, but now it's a 1v3, and it's all on to Nico. And while he does deal with Threat, the man in question... It's still a second round on the board for NIP. This, this is like a force by wars. It's as yeah. simple as that. We know him, we love him. But I feel like it's been a while since I've seen a proper just back and forth force by battle like yeah, this. Yeah, that is true. And and that was a three on five for NIP, man. They lost their two picks in middle. They still executed into B, hampers with a D entry, and it all falls apart for FaZe. Now, I've been watching Threat closely in these rounds, and he's not been he's not been giving anything away or, or, or losing situations for NIP. He's been very safe, but he's also getting obliterated. Like, he's getting one tapped and the pistol he got one tap by nico he comes around the corner there gets immediately headshot the other round on b he pushed in first and got traded allowing nip to win the round with a post plant and so he's doing his role he may be playing block armor but he's doing his job and throwing the grenades mac 10 now money's a problem for nip as they conduct these force by wars nico with the saved ak and deeks around it as well and you see phase are getting less and less incentivized to keep this by going they're not putting as much in this time Still hoping they can turn the tide, though. Nico in the A site. The bomb's coming in through middle with four. And Threat's going back to spawn to check it out. He hasn't gone all the way in through T to A, so it might just be a B play for an IP. Ooh. Careful. Leagues are checking out what's going on in middle. And a re-smoke can come down. We could even have a boost up or a jump. Threat in the connector, Nico on the A site, and actually NIP, they're just going to overtake this A site, or they were going to before that smoke landed. That's a bit of a problem. Which is cool, but is it as cool as the latest Apple iOS update? Right. We're talking iOS 14. I'm pretty sure it's brought us all to about the equivalent of a Android user, which is also I... awesome. Yeah, I mean, I refuse to use the phone named after a fruit. That's my basis. But here we go. Rain and Nico both dealt with over at this A side of the map. Brokey is armed with a little deagle back here in CT, but he's losing teammates quickly elsewhere. He does have cold rotating in. A bomb getting planted, threat holding down the CT angle, and he's seen one. And a second now. Those are they're both there. Trapped by the molly as well. No getting out here for FaZe. And Nico's AK is still dropped in the A site. Threats found a weapon, or a rifle rather, off of his teammate. And so there is a gun for FaZe to retrieve if they want to hang around. Might even be blown towards the spawn, but unlikely with where it was dropped. So this feels like a done deal. Cold's looking for anything on the exit, but NIP have already backed off to play mid. And there we go. Simple as that. Third for NIP. The force by wars. 
denied for phase. As NIP get back to back rounds, that usually signals the end, uh, the end of the back and forth, right? When when either team is just constantly forcing in. A lot of the time, it's because it's coming down to these clutches. You know, your opponents don't have a lot of money, but back to back round losses for phase, that's enough justification to eco and come in with the big guns in the follow up. Someone's doing case openings on the fan cams. I wish you luck. Let's just bring that back. I mean, you know. Maybe they win a knife trace. Maybe not. Probably not, if you look at the, the numbers. Harry, what is your best joke you could tell right now? If you had to, like... I mean, I'll buy a couple more seconds by talking while you think about it, but honestly, what do you think? I... I what, what kind of a question is that? Normally, I'm all right at this, right? But... I don't know, man. funny force yeah. <laughs> Right now. I'm like trying to think of... Uh... How do you think Dave Chappelle feels? Everywhere he goes, people are probably like, hey, man, crack a joke. Oh. He is a comedian, though, so I feel like he's got a couple, you know, in the pocket. Have you seen this guy? Yeah, yeah, no, man. I know. I, I need like a subject matter or like a topic. Okay. I'm, I'm someone that if you just like, if you just point me in a direction and say like, be funny, it's you know I can't. Okay, I'll give you a topic. Um, oh God, this Counter Strike. Shouldn't have done that, Harry. Counter Strike topical, down. even. They don't leave the door open. That's oh. your biggest mistake. Yeah, that was a blunder. Um, so out of all the roster moves of 2020, anything what you can do, this? any jokes that you can make in that general direction will be acceptable. We'll give him a round to think about it while yep. phase buy up fully. You just wait right there. Oh, one round, Harry. We'll be back with you after the break. Brokey on the orb. He's taking it back from Nico. Did buy his own this time. Fighting connector. Oh, that was close. How has he not hit that? Ooh. Does follow up through the smoke, but taking significant damage on his way out as well. Man up for phase. NIP looking at B. Plopsky wants the entry, and there's only one man here as well. Brokey's even left to go towards that A-bomb site, so FaZe padding up as NIP group for this B hit. Aggressive ramp setup should get this info early for FaZe. The A is somewhat empty. Cold is yet to leave the short side. Hampus is in lower, selling something. It's not really going to sell much, just denying info on the short from Connector. And it's all just going to be this B crunch. Kirby's pushed deep short as well. So NIP, they're, they're probably not going to be ready for that. They're probably going to be expecting a site or a van player. And that could get them sidelined. Hampers caught in the connector. They've got to go. Yeah, they got to go now as well. Kirby here holding down the site. Tags them. Threat does get the trade at least. And that might allow the bomb plant to come through. But Threat is left in a 1v4. Yes. You're asking a hell of a lot. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. A few more seconds now before we hear whatever joke Harry has prepared. And we're going to do that at the conclusion of the defuse. So still a little bit of time left on the clock. It could be about any roster move. It could be about I, anything at all. No, I'm, 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 I'm going to get ahead of this now, right? Why do you even want me to insane, man? Like, did you just censor you, yourself? Yeah, I did censor <laughs> myself, all right? Like, you, this is... <laughs> no, man, this is wild. Like, that's such a... You know, when I say like a direction, I mean like I need like some some material already. So you know, like I west or it. east or like yeah, what right. are we like talking anything here? more than using the roster changes that have happened this year. How about any with any roster change meme. ever? You don't need a meme. Not everything has to be a meme. There are jokes. There are yeah, jokes. I think the more I'm not like you a pawn. social media manager. I'm not like that churning out gold every day. Well, right? I, we can see that. Twitter's pretty fire. Thanks, oh, man. Well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, over yeah. at Just Harry GG. If anyone does want to yeah. check that out, obviously. At Just Harry. Prince Harry. At Prince Harry, right? Uh, yeah, that's the one. How could I forget? No, I made my name Prince Harry, and I got loads of death threats, and so I had to change it back. That was the immediate red flag to <laughs> stop that. Um, <laughs> Justin, who wants to kill Prince Harry is my first question. Yeah, right? Then what's he done? Yeah. I don't even get it. Anyway. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look at this. Kirby. They know he's there now. It's not really a, a secret anymore. And so he's had to cross on out. But he hasn't left entirely. He's still keeping the pressure on. The rest of NIP are down here in middle. And I just, you know, I'm looking at threat. And I think we could just follow his POV this entire game and I'd be satisfied. Well, he's got the bomb now, Trace. This is a big pickup for NIP moving Dude, through the humongous. apartments. S Molly, Flash, Knife. 48 seconds, threat. He's still walking forward. He's lining up a flashbang. Yep, someone's going to get blind, but it's not KRB, and that could be a big problem. Plopsky in front of threat, but threat the man we want to follow nonetheless. Let's see what he's got in the tank. 
Can he stir it up over here at the B site? He's going to take a little bit of aggressive angle and get shot in the oh, back yeah. of the head. And Raz is able to find some real estate. This might Ooh. actually turn around if he can get oh, that dear. kill. That does help immensely. Two on two now in the B site. And it's oh. on the back of Threat using himself as a can opener and forcibly getting inside of the site. Rain, however, is just too quick. I say that. Twist with a big twist in the round. And it's not enough. Nip do get a bomb plant, but it's Nico. It's going to be getting a defuse here at the end of the round and salvaging an AWP. Twist is looking good on the AWP, man. He should he should be the main AWP for NIP. Oh, wait, no, they tried that before. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, like, obviously, joke. jokes aside, he's, he's a very capable AWPer, and it's nice to see him with that weapon back at his hands. Obviously, you know, sending well wishes to Nork. Hope he gets back in the server soon, but make do with what you got, and what NIP got is pretty good. Res alluded to it in that interview, saying, they'll be fine. They're, they're, they're under control. And... Some nice entries from Rez up the short side, getting a lot of impact there. He just wasn't ready for how fast Rain was on rotation, getting out the market window as the smoke faded. 4-4, four, four, back and forth. No clear victor in sight. That's what we want. The buy round for NIP, but the orbs out on Brokey. He's going to take it back towards Connector. It's been treating him well. Hamper some pressure on the B-bomb side. That deep smoke coming in late. He could have played ahead of it, but he chooses not to and goes lower instead. Another mid-crunch for Nip. Cold up in the ladder room. They saw that. Uh, they have a Molotov on Hampers as well, so that could get hot for him. He has his escape route through the window if needed. And Threat's lurking outside A, so it might just be an A split later on, but Hampers is going to catch Kiebi getting aggressive. Perfect timing from the underpass. NIP a man up. And Hampers, the reason he's ready for that is Kierby's thrown the deep smoke. When you throw that deep smoke from CT spawn, it's often hinting that, okay, yeah, we want this apps control. We want a deep molly. We want to play for the kitchen. And so Hampers just patrols and waits around for Kierby to make that move. It's netted NIP a man advantage. Again, the ramp push for FaZe gets a bit of information, but it might all come too late if NIP set up towards B. Ooh. Oh, with Brokey going back for a bit more down here in the connector. This it could still get out of hand for NIP. Brokey with a nice quick shot. Doesn't live to tell the tale. However, Rain, close at ramp, Ooh. gets away with that kill. Goes back in and wow. somehow puts up another. It went from looking like maybe NIP could have recovered this one to, uh, to suddenly phase in these aggro positions, just taking everybody out of the equation. Yeah, NIP was scared of the fact that FAs were going to have heavy B rotates like they did in the last round, and NIP have been on B a lot in this game. And so FaZe triple stacked on A despite Kierby going down early. They just gamble and go, yeah, man, no one's going to push uh, push B. We'll be fine. And they just left it open, right? If you count Cold in the ladder room, he's not really in the B site. He can't support. And so FaZe just go, yeah, we don't need B. And they're, they're right, they don't. NIP split on that A site, they get decimated by the ramp push, and Cole cleans up a couple as well. Nice round for FaZe. Obviously, we are going to be seeing Threat going in first, getting traded a lot of the time. Rez tries to do it that round, but Rain is very fast indeed. The orb continues, and the money, well, for NIP, it bottoms out. Twist on a hero AK. We got pistols around it as well. This is going to be no orb for Twist when we come into that next gun round. Some sacrifice is worth taking if they can get those opening kills that NIP desire. Back to be a, contr a B control for FaZe. They push cold in deep. Kiebi shows he's on the balcony by throwing grenades and hoping that no one's going to check this close right angle. Second re-smoke down. Twist, he's calling for support. Bomb going up short, and Hampus joining him in the apartments. No utility, but a single Molotov for NIP. It's down to those gunfights. Oh, Kirby and Cold with this deadly little crossfire. However, Cold gets checked. He's still going to put up a kill, and the flash is good. Cold, another. And while this B play, it's been dealt with pretty nicely here. Bomb plant should be guaranteed for NIP at least. They've got it down to a two on three, but with no armor on either of these players, it should just be the mop up here for FaZe. And indeed it is. As it all lies on Plopski, gets put in the ground. FaZe up to six. I'm trying to like imagine a whole... Uh, I'm gone. A whole like comedy stand up bit, you know, like I'm thinking about what I would say. I've been putting some thought to it. Nothing solid yet, Trace, but well, that's disappointing. I'm just I'm just laughing at like what you expected me to come out with here, you know? 
Could have came out with anything. Like, you, did you want like a whole like stand up like segment with me like doing a ah? Oh, you go, man. Like what's dancing the, a what's jig the name or comedian. Scottish accent, uh, Frankie, Frankie Boyle. Boyle. That's the one. You wanted me to deliver something like that? Scottish accent, not Scottish though. No. Common misconception. Just the accent. <laughs> Just the accent. Else. Yeah. Not the nationality. So Scotty Boyle. <laughs> Who? Frankie Boyle. Frankie Boyle. Oh, Frankie Boyle. Yeah. Oh, my Brokey. big boiling around here is going to be this AWP in the hands of Brokey. Oh, he's getting flashed out again. This should be a free kill. He goes very late with that one, but Rez is still blind and Brokey gets away with two. Now back to A through the smoke threat with a bomb twisted to shot, but it's only a tag. Cole has been stellar in these positions. He's over on the A site for now, and he falls after one. Just twist left up. One on three, bomb dropped in wet rain. Shot through the smoke. That's a free AWP as well. If you want to, he's going to stick with the AK for now. And FaZe pick up a seventh on this CT side. They're building. They're looking good while they do it. The teamwork is there. The mid flashes are nice. Brokey's been really going for it as well. Getting aggressive, taking lower, fighting connector. And IP. The money has just been a mess this game for, for them, really. Like, obviously, the Force by Wars, they actually went out at the beginning, but FaZe have broken them back. And now NIP going for Hero AKs and stuff. It's left them in this weird position. Look at Twist. He has 25. Everyone else is bought, but they also have a grand left because they're not buying grenades. It's very strange buys for NIP. And so this might dig them a bit of a hole here on this T side. It's their map pick as well. Winning the half might just be out the window at this point, but let's see what they can do with these three guns. Ah, uh, yes. Indeed. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Mm, yes. Of course. You know, we, 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 like, we like a guy like Threat, you know, like he's just giving stuff over to the rest of the squad. That's nice of him. He knows that that's how they're going to succeed, and with Rez and Hampus performing like they are, makes a lot of sense. Now, it is a little bit saddening that neither Twist nor Threat was here in mid to retrieve one of these dropped AKs or other rifles by phase. But they're going to like to get out here at the ramp. Rain is the only guy inside of A for phase, and Hampus is actually faking a B play. And uh, to be fair with how deep he's got... NIP, I was going to say they could try and run the gauntlet back, but they definitely would be pretty pressed for time. Hampus might even catch the timing oh, here to get in through the market, and Cold's never even seen it. Now, does he take this kill while he's got it? Yes, oh, he dear. does. Just about. Oh, no. Hopsky deletes rain, and, well, there we go. That's it. That's the round, isn't it? Like we all expected. <laughs> it's five on the board for an IP. At that point, when they lose Cold to, like, the market flank, all FaZe is doing going, it's B, it's B, it's B. There's 20 seconds. They have to be B. And they all leave their positions. They all peak at the same time, and obviously it's not B. Rain, I don't know if he was trying to jump on the box there, but he didn't. He just got headshot midair. Oh, dear, that's a, that's a nice round for Hampus. Great timing up short as well. FaZe leaning away from that B site, as they have been doing, playing retake a lot on that side of the map. Not even like retake by design, but often if they lose their early B player, they just go, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, all is good. All is clear. Basically, my best German right there. That is the bar. Oh, man, I love that. They taste delicious. Oh. Wunderbars. I think that they also call them big cornies. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's the one. Hugo loves them, actually. Dude. I need a personal sponsorship. I'm big corny. I think it's the other way around. Or maybe I'm wrong. Is it corny big or big corny? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I just thought we were just talking about you, but... We... <laughs> Sorry, man. We may never know. Back to middle for NIP. Brokey with the AWP falls out. The smoke is down. And NIP set up for a quick A play by the looks of things. They can just go connect and mollied off, though, trying to deny that AWP aggression that has been there. Ever present. Threat on ramp. Rain pushing. Threat gets the kill. And that's an opener for NIP towards A. That's exactly what they wanted. Nico's close, but he's not really got the weapon for the job. Can he catch Threat repositioning? Falling off silently, threats across to the right side. Nico does get the kill, but he's so low. Twisted trade. He has the bomb. He doesn't want to give it away. And luckily, Popsy stabs him in the back, coming up the connector. That jungle smoke is down, and so Kierbi cannot assist. It's all up to Brokey in the spawn. Flashed off. The bomb plant allowed here by NIP. They need to get it down before the smokes fade. A good flash is a good series of flashes, even for Nip, as they're able to back away and reorganize for what 
is not going to be a retake by FaZe Clan. Brokey's already set his, his piece and set his sights on the V-Halls for a save for the save clan. It's jam time. Threat now. Same amount of kills as Kirby. Expected even. Life of a bee pirate. And the weirdest part about all this is threat going to G2. And I have to just say that that, <laughs> that is one of the most bizarre pickups of the year. Yeah. See, that was that was a joke, you know? Like, you could have done yeah, that. Yeah, 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 man. That was pretty good. You just got to go out there. now, coming in with top quality humor. Hey, man. Yeah, man. It's almost <laughs> like I didn't turn to you and say, hey, Trace, man, give me a joke about threat. Okay. Uh, well, he poses quite the threat in the server. <laughs> See? Like, it's not the best, it's not the worst. Oh, yeah, it's but not C's the best. get degrees, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. That is yeah, true. Yeah, true. yeah, yeah, okay. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try in school. My name is Harry Russell. <laughs> Life advice. By Harry. Now that's a series we could get into. I think I could give some good life advice. Yeah, like all the things I don't do is basically how you should be doing it. Here we go, then. We got the man advantage taken by Brokey. Twist, the man who just won't miss over here at the ramp, and he's missed. Well, he did. No, he, didn't. he hit Rain, but oh, he yeah. didn't kill Rain. And so now the rotation coming in into this B site, that's because Popsky's already in it, and he's calling. Like, it's pretty clear. Threat's running in with the bomb in through the apartments. Twist is juggling the guns away from ramp. Even delaying the push from phase to that side of the map, and Rain's desperate to find this AK. Now, Hampus even wrapping around in through the connector. Man, they're all over the place. Rain found it. What a legend. He tracked it down. It's like a bloodhound. He just sniffed it out. <laughs> Smell the <Ugh. light. laughs> <laughs> That was a... Man, I was not expecting that was all that. Yeah. It was a very visceral sound you made out of your nose. Let me. Visceral, that's... <laughs> ah, everybody get a good breath of fresh air. Yep. Because this round is done Dada. FaZe Clan. Got what? Dada. Yeah. There you go. Ampus Rampus, though. Can right, you I get it. Oh. We're all making jokes now. Apart from me. Oh. You snooze, you lose, Harry. Don't be a loser. Be the diffuser. That's what they always say. It's the ancient. That is what they always say. <laughs> Turn yourself into the diffuser. Well, FaZe can't defuse this situation. It's a bit of a low buy and a bit of a good buy as they get on, get on out of there alive. I said earlier, NIP probably can't win the half, and that's because they were broke, but they won it, and they haven't stopped since. And uh, now, to be honest, they might win the half. It's on the cards. FaZe, last round here, they've saved him back-to-back -back rounds with three alive to make this buy happen. They're going to have everything they need and more. But Let are the results there? Can we examine this, though, because we are going into the second half, and sure. Hugo, uh, as someone with the most rationale probably sitting here, and in our current state, what would this spell for a CT side for Nip with threat in there? That's a great question. I actually, yeah, I, I don't really know. Like, he, you know, yeah, I, I have no idea how to answer that question. What's clear is the AWP is obviously in the hands of Twist. Nice. That's all I can give you here, Trace. <laughs> what did you want from I was just curious. Oh, dear, look at this. Look at this A play. Popsky and Hampus, they've run in and they've taken down everyone inside of the site. So, FaZe are left rotating bodies in through these smokes and they're trying to wrap back around into middle, but Hampus, this sneaky little devil, emerging late, admittedly only good for one. He's probably dead now because he, uh, nah, he's got this. he missed this timing and so they closed the gap on him. Kirby will come in with the kill. Last round of the half, so FaZe are definitely going for it, Ooh. and Twist is keen to take some fights. Now, he might come to regret that decision. We still got Threat in the sight. There's a wraparound coming in from Rez, and he does Ooh. deal with one. Brokey trying to get on the ball. Yeah. The finds him. And that there is NIP winning out the half on their map pick, 8-7. to seven. And Nip, they're in control. But we're very, very close. This is still anyone's game, so stick around to find out who takes Mirage.
Welcome back, everybody. Air high fives are in store. Of course, you can hear the arena rumbling. The crowd on its feet. Crowd now, proud now. And of course, ever so loud now. Threat in the server in this epic battle for last place. I hate to drive it home like that, but it yeah. is what it is. Phase is versus true. nip. It is, it is the, the hard-hitting reality. The numbers align so that that is the case. The proof. Trace, where is it located? Oh, man. If Somewhere I hear the phrase, the, the proof is in the pudding. That's what I more said, time. actually. Uh, if I hear, said it. If I hear that phrase, I do not know what's going to happen. I don't like it anymore. 8-7. In the half right now, NIP in the lead in a B player's phase, Ooh. rush on in, and they did look at Plotsky, but no one seemingly reacted. How's he still alive? He's jumping around, and finally they do deal with him. And that leaves Twist and Hampus 2v4. And well, they might get their just desserts here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's pudding desserts. <laughs> ah, this retake, it's not an easy one, I'll tell you that much. Hampus is coming up catwalk. He's going to get repeats. Oh, Nico yeah. with a quick shot. He found four in the first pistol. What well, twist will find him here. Oh, oh, maybe a chance woo. to clutch. The kids dropped. Phaser backing up. They're scared of throwing this round, and for good reason. Double peak on the left side. Twist has wrapped the right, and Rain is holding down the line. Twist getting pushed. Oh, dear. Time is ticking, oh, and uh, ammo running dry. Phase find him. Not even close. Not even scary they're up to eight and nip do they force do they continue the wars that they won on the t side took a few rounds but they got there and they'll go there again back in with a buy not heavy though deagles armor on hampers not everyone else though scout on plopsky and yeah it's a pretty considerable investment they're still expecting the worst and that is that phase will probably run over them this round this is not a round where phase are hopefully going to sustain many losses Let's see. Well, Hampus is donning the Deagle armor. Big Hamp dog. Of course, he's named after his two favorite things. So let's see what he can do in this round. Hampus back here towards the, uh, the bench side. Flash goes through. Threat's going to dodge it. Raid. Oh, gets deeged by threat. Nico will come in with a bit of a response here. Trades that out at least, but we've still got Hampus sitting at the bench, waiting. Ooh, you can feel it. You can feel something in the air. Hampus with the Deagle. What's he going to do? There's one. The Deagle looking to come alive now. And Cold knows he's here. Hampus has got two bullets left in this Deagle. And he puts them both in Cold's error. This might be the force by victory for NIP. And indeed it is. Hampus with three. I said you could feel it. The atmosphere. It was so Hampus. And so nine on the board for NIP. God, he's good, isn't he? What a pickup for this team as well, right? Like, obviously, they're going through turbul turbulent times right now uh, with their roster, but Hampus, man, he, he has just been so good individually, right? Like, people thought that would be the first problem. Like, oh, Lecro's so good, so how is Hampus going to compete? Well, not only has he been great in the server, but he's been leading by example as well, calling at the helm of NIP. Ooh, Nico hits the cross shot. Hampus does get tagged, but not dead. This buy is... Deagles again for FaZe, who forced back in. How has the inverse happened in the second half, right? FaZe, they won their CT pistol. NIP won the Ooh. T Force. The same thing happened here, but on the other halves. NIP don't care where they are. You, you've just got to show some respect to threat with the boomer weapon. <laughs> Call we of know. Duty gun. Yeah, I mean, that scope, it's, it's powerful in the hands of the elderly. Are you calling? What are you actually? I'm just, I'm going to move past that. I'm just saying yeah, threat man. is. Well, is threat a does have a long tenured threat. career spanning 15 years, of course. And here he is with the org pushing into the apartments. Is that like little boost? You know, he, he has. Oh, no, yeah. And that's the thing, man. The org's pretty popular now as well. It's not even like, you know, he just picked it up like some off meta weapon. Nah, man. Like, you see a lot of people using this. He's even going aggressive. Look at the confidence. Now, oh, to be fair, God. confidence. You know, it can be a downfall as well. We've all been too Whoa. confident, but threats dodge Nico. He's what? out of there. Goodbye. Actually, I'm back. And he's oh, not able no. to go toe to toe with Nico. Bit of damage, but that's it. This round might fall apart. The force by wars might continue, but Plopsky, he's locked that all down, hasn't he? Cold trying to deal with Twist and he misses. Nico, he's got that org off of Threat's body. 
And now he's got to live up to Threat's name here in this round. 1v2, the Molly's going to cut him out of Khan. He goes up through it. Got the bomb. Does have to go back for the bomb. That's wasted a little bit of time, but he's still got this safe passage into the site. Gets in. Plopsky's seen it. Nico in the 1v1. Gets the bomb down. Looking now towards the stairs. and Doesn't realize that Plopsky's already gotten across, but Nico still hidden. Well. Still lurking in the back of this site. And Plopsky with no idea that he shadow. made it across. He's seen the shadow, and Nico's got that round locked in. The four spy wars, they do continue. Anti footwork for Nico, man. The, the smoke on the molly with seconds to spare. He jumps off the bench into the site. And even though he whiffs his shot to start, he follows up and kills threat, right? So, really good round for Nico. But. Yeah, how much longer will this continue is the question. Do NIP want to keep on buying it down? I'd imagine so. It's a bit of a go-to. There it is. Orp with Deagles. Everyone's favorite combination. It's a bit of a mi uh, mess, a bit of a mix. Twist, smoked off in the window. Phase with fast mid control. I like it. Taking a lot away from NIP who don't have that information. Rez is looking through a tiny gap in the smoke. The rain's waiting patiently by, waiting for the flash, waiting for the fade. Only one AK in this round for phase. It's hardly a pretty buy. And this is a ballsy investment for NIP, like bringing the AWP in, armorless. You know, you, you run the risk of giving that over to phase free of charge. Ampus, molded by this Molotov. He stays alive right above it. They are going to come in to check, but oh, the timing. Hampus just decides then would be the perfect time to study the brickwork, and he might wish he didn't. Brokey dealing with threat. This might just be a save for NIP. They want to keep these two Famuses, this AWP, into the follow-up round. And, you know, like, yeah, it kind of sucks for the timing and everything there, but to be fair, like, in, in terms of losing around, this is probably the nicest way to have it go, right? If you get out of it with these two rifles and the AWP, you'll take that. Best case scenario for a lost round, sure. The Eagle's gone, nothing more. Phase, they're going to send Rain out, but he will be dropped by the AWP and no no real hunting here. Uh, maybe Kiebi goes because he has a MAC-10, but Phase have yet to build up any kind of economy and they know that NIP saving three might be buying back in, so it's important that they actually have some cash of their own, right? One AK in this round again. They have the org. Cold is keeping scoped up and B waiting for any exiting NIP players, but they're all stacked on the, each other's heads in the palace. 10 for FaZe, taking the lead right back away from NIP. They won't have it for long. It's been a pretty close game, and for FaZe, you know, this is seemingly more cohesive than we've seen in a little bit. But is it enough? This is kind of cool. On the day of the Astralis jersey launch, the Tower of Borson, which I don't think is how you pronounce it, but that's how a I J pronounce in it. Where? Uh, it's in Denmark. Oh. It's the Danish Stock Exchange. Was flying the Astralis flag. Today? Yeah. That's kind of cool. That is cool, yeah. Man. And then the Eye of Mordor opened up on top yeah. of that. <laughs> and lo and behold, the eighth member of the Astralis lineup is Sauron. He's joining. <laughs> The all seeing oh, yeah. eye. Yeah, he's gonna bring <laughs> he's gonna bring chaos to all of Middle Earth here. Nico gonna get flashed into the ladder room. Now there's two players <laughs> here. Rez with the fancy footwork to bail his teammate out. That's pretty slick. Hampus hidden in this smoke as well, right around the corner, holding onto the connector. There is a player over in Palace, and they're rotating to B. I think that's because a bit of noise was just made by Kierby over in the apartments. And they all get very, very worried about a potential B play. But in doing so, they've conceded this A bomb site. Plopsky, while he is in with uh. one, Kierby still down here in the bomb of mid, has locked in one of these kills, but only one, leaving phase in a two on three. Brett still has a USP. He's hardly armed and dangerous in this round. Brokey's going to get flashed to middle, but he fights jungle instead, catching threat with a bullet in the head. He's down to 35. Threat softened up the targets. Can NIP finish the job? Rez certainly hopes so. Coming in through connector, Molotov for cold keeps him back, or will it push him forward? Those are the options. Brokey's got a cross, and Rez has got the drop. Bomb on the floor. Cold baits the orb, and he's going to swing out and try and go back to this one-on-one. -on -one. In the meantime, Twist is rotating in cold. He's lost time. 20 seconds, another Molotov down. He's got a way to out. Rez 
He knows exactly where he is. Tucked in the connector. Cole falls off the bench, but he gets away with a kill. Expecting Twist behind it. Twist is in front, outside, in the connector. NIP, take 10. It's so back and forth. It's so close. And that was two USPs in that round, right? The save Famuses with the AWP. Great save from Rez. I don't know how Plopski doesn't die. He darts back on the ladder while fully blind. Rez saves him, comes in with a big 3K round, and it's going to be NIP finding it. Good rotation for Twist. The second he gets baited on that orb shot, you know, Cole sees where he is. Twist just goes middle. He knows that's the last thing Cole will expect, and he was right. Yep. On, on a knife's edge. And, and you know, you look at Threat right there, and you know he brings that same level of intensity and energy when he's behind the team. But just to see him doing it now, even in the server, it's kind of a, a feels good, man. Yeah, it's cool. Doesn't feel good over at the A site, though. Nip and Rez laying in wait. All they can do. All of FaZe have found themselves out here on this site. And just one coming to late. Palace, the spray oh. from Rez is not going to be good enough. It's going to net some damage on the rain, but overall, here comes Threat with the big augs. Good for one. And the trades, well, they've gone the way of Nip. We see this so often for FaZe, like these missed jungle smokes on Mirage. It just always comes through. And now a big gap, giving Twist a room to fight. He's going to try and stop the bomb from crossing. But they are going back to boost on the stairwell. Last thing he's going to expect. Oh, no. They fall off. Twist looked up. I don't know what's happening. They're going to cross, swing, go for the fight. They could line up, but Nico gets the shot. That was messy at best, but it will be a phase round. There are a lot of ways that could have fallen apart. <sighs> Rez, man, he, he has balls of steel. He stays on triple for so long, terrified at the idea that phase are in the site, but they take so long to cross. And when they do, it's into the gap in the smoke, giving Twist a kill. Rez won't get anything done from that position. And maybe if he had, that would have been an NIP round. But instead, FaZe, again, keep the lead in their pocket. Ooh. Ooh. Looking like a B play with Nico trying to split up short side. And inside of this B site, you're looking at Threat and Plopski. Threat flashed off. They stand on his head. He gets Goomba stomped by Rain and flashed by Rez. And it goes downhill pretty quickly. Four on three. These Deagles not finding anything. That AWP that was given over to Brokey doing damage. Twist wants to hold on to the M4 and he just sees Nico there down here in middle. That's now an AK that Hampus could look to get his hands on. And I think Twist has dropped the M4 down here towards the lower tunnels while retrieving the AK. That looks to be the case. That's a nice little bit of teamwork, isn't it? Yeah, you'd never see that in your MM matches, but you can observe it here at the pro level of play. I like this tightly contested race between Threat and Kirby. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that no one saw coming, but boy, did you get it right here towards the end of the season. You're all very lucky and fortunate for that. Just remember. Yeah, Molotov, not ideal. Rain correcting his wrongs. So respect for that. My teammates would just go the other way. Leave me out there to fry. Astralis vs. Fnatic. Now there's a teaser we can give. September 18th. Wait, when's that? Oh, wow, that's today. It's a Friday. No way. Nuts, man. It's PM. just a couple hours away. So Astralis Fnatic fans, fear not. Will Astralis continue the domination they've shown with their current iteration of the lineup? Or will Fnatic knife them into the next realm? We'll know in due time. Not before we find out where this series is going, and that's still up in the air. That's still... This has got overtime. Three maps written all over it, Hugo. Yeah. Might do, but NIP falling short a little bit here. Money has again been a problem for them in this entire game. Yeah, and there's nothing scarier than two teams with nothing to lose. Two guns, that's it here for NIP. Boost for Hampus on B. It's gonna push the apartments. Good round to do so, phase of no one here. Twist on the connector. IP crucially not giving any kills away in middle, just waiting for FaZe to come to them, making them call a gamble. And Nico might have made the right one. He's going up into ladder. This looks like an A split for FaZe. B is definitely more open, but already a kill going their way. That will send them into A. Twist 
is waiting for the smoke to fade. Scope heard on Broke twist. Oh, he gets the shot. Cold is gone. And he gets to back up into the A site as well. Far from a commitment, but if Rain finds kills on the lurk here, that will certainly incentivize FaZe to take the site. No one's even looking. No one's even considering. No one's in the open, but now they are. Two of them shot in the back is threat. Rez can't follow up, and Rain looking at the spawn, looking for twist. He's got him as well. 3K opener on the A site for Rain. Doesn't matter where the bomb goes now. Hampus is a long way away. He's pushed B to under. And the bomb is coming back through middle on its own. Oh no, this could all fall apart. If Hampus turns around, he's been spotted though. That should be fine. Rain's done the damage and it's finished off by Brokey. Oh, if, if he was looking at top mid, that would have, could have been the bomb dropped and a chance to clutch. Even an orb for free there. And IP only two guns though. So they make it interesting, but they won't get it over the line. I'm waiting for those gun rounds. Yeah, man, they do make it interesting though. Gun buys, man. There's something special about them. These are the fan cams. We have a magician at the top. Look at that. Now that's cool. Like to say that we there's not entertainment at every yeah. at every turn here is a lie. Like we got magicians now. Yeah. What other esports events it's... got magicians? Not just magics or magisk, but an actual magician. Ooh, oh, look at this, man. This fast A play. They've tried to do some magic of their own, but NIP standing pretty tall. That is until Nico and Cold Zara get involved. Threat and Plopski left in a two on three, but two of these players on the other side are very, very low. Threats rotated in through jungle. Plopski tagged by that Molotov. Brokey would have heard that. So he knows that there's a guy nearby in CT. A lot of free room here, but as soon as Threat takes a shot, he's going to get pivoted on from the connector. I say that. He takes down Cold Zera, but it doesn't matter. Plowski's falling on the other side. Threat going for the clutch. One on two. Nico on two HP. See the smoke drop, but the flank is there, and it's Nico that comes out victorious, as well as FaZe, who put themselves up on 14 nip at the deficit. And man, I can't believe some of you would have picked nip. I got to say, man, like Threat's actually, like, you know, Stand up guy, like right now, he's he's doing well. He's putting up the kills he needs to. Like, yeah, he's not winning any rounds single handedly, right? But he's that's doing not his part. He's here, yeah. yeah. And you know, it's not like he's like got three kills to his name. He's like being, you know, like taking guns off of anyone else. They're using him like a little bank account. He's taking the mag seven in this round, and he's going to be holding ramp with it. Now it's a fast mid play for Phase. Looking like they want to split this B site, so we're not going to see much from Threat and the boys over towards A. Instead, we're looking at Hampus to somehow hold down this B site, but he is getting flooded from every possible angle. He's still darted out into the open and does find one. That's bought a little bit of Ooh. time for Twist to move in. He's grabbed the AK, he's in with a second, and somehow we're into a two on two. There might still be a chance here for an IP. This was a round they absolutely had no business picking up. They have one guy in that B bomb site. Hampus able to buy time and get away with a kill, and then that allows Twist to double up. It's made it a little bit, a little bit feasible here for an IP. Yeah, he was in the open. He just moved to safety. Plopski almost caught the timing. He has a kit as well, and so creeping up, Cat. No one's even watching it right now from the apartments. Brokey holding on. Oh, I think he may have got that info. Now he definitely has with a shot connecting. Plopski has to hide. Molly pushes Brokey out, and Rez now making noise in the apartments. Kiebi's yeah, got the kill. That was a crucial round for Phase, finding 15 on NIP's map pick. Oh boy, this could all be coming to a close sooner than we wanted. Yeah, you said it, Hugo, and you said the words right out of my mouth. We're looking at what is Nip's map pick and what that spells for the rest of the series is a little bit of unease. Phase, though, got them right where they want them at this point, map point even. 15 to 10, we look at Nuke next, and should we have to, there will be Inferno. And I'm not going to write that off considering what we're seeing out of Nip at this point. Yeah, this is a, a you know... I was going to say the word confidence boosting, but at this point in the season, it doesn't really matter for FaZe if, if they're confident or not. They're already out of playoff contention, but this is, a, this is a game that it's, you know, it's good for the mental state of FaZe if they were to win, right? Losing to a coach is never a fun one. I want to jump on the hype train here with you, yeah. but I think you guys already left the station, so I'm just going to kick it back over here. I just, you know, Hugo, not to be the contrarian, but being excited about the confidence building potential of this game. Hey, yeah, that's why I immediately 
<laughs> one of those things where you say it and then you uh, realize no, they, sure. well, they are guranteed last yeah, or second or last. It doesn't really matter. So, yeah. And then obviously the, all the roster hey, I, changed I just think, it, you know, yeah, it wouldn't have done phase any more good to lose to a team with a coach. Now, obviously, that's still a possibility. We're only on map one of the series, but... Phase. They want to close this out here and now, and they might just have us. Gets wall banged. Cole follows up. Great double entry. Flash to Khan as well. Can allow Broken to jump across, and he's got the shot to twist. It's just Threat. One on three. Low HP. Cold is gone, and now Threat in with a chance. But this is going to have to be a big clutch to keep NIP in their map pick. Tagged on the jump. Kiebi cleans up, and Phase take NIP's pick of Mirage. Like you said, Trace, Nuke is just on the corner.